played with the family. Yeah, group. what happened is my d in a circle. There you go. You're covering your dance six first. There is, the family is winding up a whirlwind tour of the U.S., which included a concert stopping spot at the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival. That's <laughs> it, yeah. So that was the same year. 71. That I just told you about that. Yeah. Rick and his father arrived at the Cecilia Cemetery of the Earth for his death. We never saw him. Not here. Not in. No. We never got to see him. Mm. So. But he still cut it out in the newspaper. Yeah, Lucille, yeah. Lucille did, yeah. 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 Do you know the story, Michael, of him in New Orleans in 71? Well, you were telling it before. I don't... What? Well, the, the first one, this 71 one, was when Louis had just died. And um, my father had, uh, approached George Wayne and, uh, and said, George, we knew George, and um, George, I've got my, both my sons with me, and we're... Um, uh, can we have a spot on the on the festival? And George, is, oh, come on, Ernie, come on, we can't. You know, it's an international festival. This is a big. We can't just, you know, open the stage to everyone who wants to. to go. But that's says, well, I'm just asking, you know. And, and George was about to walk away, and when he suddenly stopped and thought, "Hang on a minute," he said, "We're going to play that last film of Louis Armstrong, the 20-minute film of Louis in the local community centre, talking to the." Local people, and, and he didn't play, did he? He's got he's got his shorts on and emaciated legs, and and um, you know that was the last film. He said we're going to play that, so it was just after Louis had died, and um, so George says, right, we're going to play that film. You've, you've got three minutes after that, no longer, any longer, the curtain's coming down. You know, three minutes. So we got our spot, but that says, okay, can you get me a rhythm section? Yeah, uh, okay, who do you want? Uh, Ron Carter, or uh, <laughs> I can't remember. Big names on the festival. We got um, Oliver, I think Oliver Jackson played on the drums with us, you know. Uh, so great rhythm section. My bro brother was on the, on the piano, and they played the film of Louis Armstrong. Everyone was absolutely sunken with sadness. Louis's gone. It's like this emptiness. Everyone's heart was in their feet. It was just like this whole feeling, you know, watching that film. And the film finished and I came on stage and but 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 the audience just roared. And just everyone got up and it was just like for me it was the best platform you could ever you couldn't want a better platform really, could you? So it was just like the, the audience roared, and when I finished, the people were on their feet and crowded. Dizzy Gillespie put his head round the curtain, looked at the audience, looked at me, and walked over and took my trumpet from me. And of course, of course, at that age, I mean, nobody touches my trumpet or takes it from me. So I held his, tr <laughs> I held my trumpet, and Dizzy pulled me off the stage by the trumpet, which again brought the house down even more than it had been. <laughs> Do, you know, Dizzy's sort of, his, his showmanship, you know, saying, you're not stealing the show from me, you <laughs> 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 There it is. There so that's 1971. And we went back to New York. What did happen is my father got in touch with a, an agent in New York, and he got his shows. I did the What's My Line, To Tell The <laughs> Truth, um, I did Jerry Lewis, Jerry Lewis uh, Telethon, that Coast to Coast charity show. Um, quite a few television debuts uh, there. Uh, the guy got all these things, um, and he got us this residency in the Inner Circle. And one night, uh, Big Chief Russellmore, he used to play with right. Louis, he came down to see us. And uh, we used to start off, he surprised us, because we, my mum and dad used to do three numbers first, and then we'd walk in from the back, the kids, <laughs> playing in the Saints. So we're, we're sort of queuing up, ready to play at the back, 
and this big guy with a trombone comes up, shh, don't tell your parents. <laughs> so we walked in playing the Saints, three kids, and then big chief behind him, <laughs> playing the, the Saints, my mum's face. <laughs> my dad. <laughs> So, uh, Big Chief, who you played with Louis? Yeah, yeah great. over a year. Um, and uh, so that was 1971. I remember always eating at the Horn and Harder Cafe, wow. opposite uh, Central Park. Great memories. But what went wrong is the guy wanted to buy me. You know, it's classic American, isn't right. it? <laughs> he wanted to own me. You know, and I'd still be looked after by mum and dad, but as a business thing. Right. My dad wasn't prepared to allow that to happen. He just said, no, I, I can't lose control of it. You know, so. You were nine? I was nine, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or maybe just ten. I think 